Today I'm going to talk you through how to make 3D style hair quickly and easily. It's not perfect, but hey, it's quick and I think it looks pretty effective. So here we have a guy, a nice bold chap, and I've got all of his elements inside one object. We've got the eyes symmetrical, ears symmetrical, and the head, which is just a capsule that's been squashed down a little bit. So the first step we need to do, we need to copy his head and then paste it. So control C, control V, rename the new layer to hair. And this is where we're gonna be doing our work. So make it editable, clicking up there. Now it's editable, we can change the shape a little bit. So press U and then L to get loop selections up. Um, and you can see I've got the line tool there and I'm just getting rid of lines of the hair shape that we don't need. So I've only got the kind of top half of the capsule because obviously he's only got hair on the top half of his head. So we have this. And now what I wanna do is go into my four up view and I'm gonna go and zoom up I'm going to zoom into the top view here, the top right hand side. And what I want to do is get my rectangle selection tool on the points selection. And I'm simply dragging and selecting all the points from one side of my shape and getting rid of them. So now when I add a symmetrical tool to our hair layer, anything that I do on the one side will be matched perfectly on the other side. So you drag the object into the symmetry like that, and then make sure that your mirror plane is uh, mirroring to the right position. Mine is X and Y here, perfect. So now he needs a haircut. At the moment, he's just got this hair that goes all the way around his head. Um, so to start with, I'm gonna select different um, polygons that I don't need around his ear and snip. Now obviously you can see it, what I've done on one side is perfectly matched on the other side. That's why I set up the symmetry. Now we need to bring that in. So I've got the line selection tool and I'm just pushing my lines more towards his ear so there's not a huge gap there. And then I'm going to push these ones up and we've got a very basic cut around his ears. It's not perfect, but I'm gonna tweak it a little bit with the point tool. Just gonna to click on points that need to be reshaped a little bit. And again, just using my arrows, I'm gonna push it around in 3D space until it's somewhere where I want it to be. So that is the cut around the ears. Now, how about the fringe? Well, with this, I press M and then K to get my knife tool. And all you do here is quite simply click where you want cuts to be made. So I'm just clicking along the fringe. I'm clicking around the fringe and I've got a shape I'm happy with. You can see it's being mirrored again on the other side. Now we need to get the polygon selection tool again and just start to delete these um, new polygons we've created by using the knife. The parts we don't need can go. So I'm just clicking on those and pressing delete. And you can see now that we have um, a fringe forming, which is great. Obviously this is all very basic. Um, shapes i'm not getting into anything too complicated and i'm sure there's better ways of doing this and i'm making loads of rookie errors as i say i'm a beginner myself but nowhere online have i found anything that's been helpful on this so far so hopefully this helps somebody out um all right so now we've got the basic shape of the hair i'm going to bring back the head layer so we can see what's going on and you can see it looks a mess and that's because they're both the same size at the moment. So we need to get our scale up tool and just scale the hair layer up a little bit. Now there's no overlapping and you can see that our hair is starting to look half decent. 
Once you're happy with the position of the hair, it's time to sort some of these uh, very straight pointy edges out. Uh, we do that by creating a subdivision surface up here and then dragging our hair layer into the subdivision surface and as you can see that will um, smooth out these edges so they're a bit more curved um, I think that just looks a lot better so there's one more trick to finish off this look and that is to go to create generator and select cloth surface drag it all into the cloth surface and click on the cloth surface and you need to um, select thickness and you can just bump that up a little bit um, depending on your character different sort of um, numbers obviously work better i'm going for a thickness of two here you can see that adds a thickness to our hair object so it looks a lot more 3d so with all that done let's have a look at the render and you can see yeah uh, it hasn't taken long and we've got some pretty decent looking 3D hair for our fun little 3D character made in Cinema 4D. I um, hope you guys have found that helpful. As I say, it might not be the best way to do this. I'm no expert, but for me, that's the best technique I've found. And I know there's not a lot of other options out there on YouTube at the moment. So I really hope that has helped somebody out.